Welcome to Black Renaissance. I'm Jan Mabry, your host, sitting in for Kristen Ayers. We've got some wonderful guests this Sunday as people around the country celebrate the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We'll tell you about some events you won't want to miss, but first, legendary playwright August Wilson's award-winning play, Fences, was the toast of the town at this year's Golden Globes. The big screen version of Fences, starring Denzel Washington along with Viola Davis, was nominated for Best Actor and Supporting Actress in a Drama. Davis won the award, and this is just the beginning. Fences has been nominated for SAG Awards, Oscars, and a lot more. KPIX 5's Rocky Theus got to talk with the late August Wilson's wife, Costanza Romero. Take a look. I go out of here every morning. Constanza, thank you so much for joining us. We are talking Fences today. Now, if you haven't heard about that, it is one of the best films of 2016, 2017. And after this interview, you will definitely want to go see it. Okay. How is it to see your husband's work on the big screen? Oh, it's fabulous. I didn't know how the poetry, the musicality, and the rhythm were going to hold up in uh, the film media but I think it holds up beautifully because Denzel really made a, a, a very definite decision to concentrate on August's words um, and, and have that be the focal point. So I am so pleased and I'm overjoyed. Absolutely, that he was amazing. What was it like working with both Di Viola Davis and Denzel Washington? Well, I wasn't at the set very much. I did go for uh, a whole week. I wanted to experience everything. Uh, they gave me a very, very war warm welcome. I got to sit in, uh, in, in the producer's tent, and I watched the process, uh, which is so different than the stage. You know, I'm a stage artist, um, so they, they do lots of takes. But the passion and the commitment by the producers and every single person on the set was phenomenal. I agree. That's amazing. Now, my friend who saw the who saw the movie came to me and was like, "I relate so much to Corey the Sun," and it was like watching myself. And then Viola Davis, when she accepted her award at the Golden Globes this year, she said that. Troy's story is her own father's story. So this, this story resonates with American families all over, not just black American families. Why is that? Absolutely. Uh, I think that uh, who doesn't uh, have a piece of their heart that is broken because uh, our dreams didn't uh, come true in our lifetime? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the character that Denzel plays, Troy Maxson, is somebody who was destined for a better and a bigger life than he had because he had so much talent and he was a bigger than life persona but he has had to uh, downsize his soul and his spirit to fit within a garbage man's lifestyle um, and and go from paycheck to paycheck and still not be able to make it so there's disappointment in, in your life, but still there is also uh, moments of celebration and moments of beauty through, through the love of your wife and your friends. There's a woman out there for me somewhere. I looked at here, looked at there, saw Rose, and I latched on to her. I latched on to her and I told her, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I latched on to her and told her, baby, I don't wanna marry. I just wanna be your man. Rose told me, tell him what you told me, Rose. I told him if he wasn't a mankind and move out the way so the mankind could find me. That's what she told me. <laughs> you're in my way, you're blocking the view, move out the way so I can find me a husband. I thought it over two, three days. Well, no, two, back. three days, nothing. You was back the same night. Come back, told her, OK, baby, but I'm going to buy me a banty rooster and put him out there in the backyard. And when he see a stranger come, he going to flap his wings and crow. Look here, Bono, I can watch that front door by myself. Who's that? back door I was worried about. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. It's so hard for me not to go in more depth. I just saw the movie this weekend and it was incredible and we don't want to give any spoilers, right, Constanza? Okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so Fences is just one part of August Wilson's work, The American Century Cycle. Um, there are 10 plays in all and I understand you and Denzel are working on another project for HBO. Tell us about that. Yes, uh, HBO has uh, gotten the rights to do more of the plays. Um, 
and uh, with any luck we're going to do all ten. Uh, each one, each of the plays is set in a different decade of the 20th century. So we got from uh, 1900s to uh, 1990s, and each of those stories has to be treated like its own little jewel and developed. The first one will be Ma Rainey's Black Bottom that is set in the 1920s in Chicago. But I tell you, just being involved with August's plays allows me so much creativity and uh, of course my love for August is is still alive and well in, in all the things that I try to to make happen and, and realize. That's beautiful. You're doing an amazing job carrying on his legacy. We're excited oh. to see more of your work and his work come to the big screen now. Thank you guys for watching. Go see Fences. It's in theaters nationwide. Thank you so much. Not to like you. Now I don't give you everything I got to give you. I give you your life. Me and your mama worked that out. Between us and liking your black ass wasn't part of the bargain. Now don't you go through life worrying about whether somebody like you or not. You best be making sure that they're doing right by you. You understand what I'm saying? Everything that boy do, he do for you. It's not easy for me to admit that I've been standing in the same place for 18 years. Well, I've been standing with you. I gave 18 years of my life to stand in the same spot as you. Fences is in theaters nationwide, a must-see this holiday weekend. Coming up, we'll talk about a prestigious African literary prize and catch up with NBA and former Warriors superstar, Baron Davis, who has taken on a literary genre that will definitely make you laugh when Black Renaissance returns in a moment.